Hello, guys. Uh, good night. How are you today? How's everything, guys? How are you doing? Hello, hello. Hey, guys, I'm, I'm really sorry that um, I was five minutes late because I was in another class, actually. But I think we we got it. I think we should be good. OK, so um, how's everything today? How was your weekend? ¿Cómo estuvo su fin de semana? ¿Todo bien? ¿Todo tranquilo? ¿Todo calidad? <laughs> yes. No. ¿Qué pasó? Todavía está en la playa. Mm, les creo. <laughs> I trust you. <laughs> All right. Okay. Good. 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 Okay, guys. So, um, before we uh, start, alguien tiene alguna pregunta, comentario, confesión, algo, no sé. <laughs> Any anything? No. No confessions, no questions, no comments. Mm -hmm. We good? Okay, good. All right. Um, just before we continue, hey guys, remember today we're going to start the section four actually. Um, that is what we're going to be, uh, I will say, Talking about this week, that's the section that belongs to this week is actually section four. So that's pretty much what we're going to be doing, okay? Mm, now, one little thing. Uh, for any reason, they actually told me that it was going to be until Friday uh, midnight that you had to complete the platform, but it's actually Thursday, as you guys told me. I just confirmed that. And so it will be up to... Thursday every, I mean, every Thursday, you have to have everything completed, right? So that's what it is. Okay, so with that being said, and before we continue, I'd like to start, you know, taking the attendance. So I'm going to call your names. And if you, um, if you guys uh, listen to your name, just say present or I'm here. Okay, so let's go with uh, Abigail Elizabeth. I am here. Thank you. Alejandro Antonio. Present. Um, Anderson Jeremy. Present. Blanca Stephanie. Present, teacher. Briseida Lisette. Eh, Camila Lisette. Present. Carlos eh, Aníbal. Present. Cecia Gemima. Okay, uh, Claudia Maricela. Present teacher. Present. Thank you. Great. Uh, Christian Daniel. I'm here. Thank you. Uh, Elsie Gabriela. Emilio Isaac. Estela Elizabeth. Estela Marisol. Present. Ok. Fernando José. Present. Eh, Floricia Mengibar. Glenda Guadalupe. Eh, Hazel Marcela. Present. Ingrid Esmeralda. <coughs> eh, Iris Milena. Present. Jaime Alexander. Jaime Iván. Present teacher. Okay, thank you. Eh, Juana Isabel. Present teacher. Thank you. Karina Jamilet. Present teacher. All right. Okay. okay. Um, 
Let's see. Then we go with Carla Joanna. Teacher. Tell me. Este, con respecto a Carla Joanna, fíjese que me comentaba que sí está este, en clases, pero. Sí, bueno. Mm -hmm. este... She got a surgery, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, she sent me the picture. Thank you. Thank you for reminding me. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Um, then we got Carla Marcela. Present. Uh -huh. Kevin Joel. Okay, Crisia Dorila. I'm here, teacher. Thank you. And Lazaro. I'm, I'm here. Thank you, buddy. Okay, cool. All right, guys, um, so that's what we're gonna be doing today, okay? So we're gonna be start, uh, I'm sorry. Yeah, we're gonna be starting actually with the unit uh, four which of that book, which is pretty much what, what we're gonna be doing today. But um, something else is that, um, as I said, we are starting the, un uh, the section uh, four today right so you guys know about that that's what we are doing and let me actually uh, share my screen right here give me just a minute all right okay so here we go. all right so we did not section number one section number two section number three is what we did last time and now we're going to go with section number four so this is what we're going to have for this a week, right? That's what we have. And uh, okay, let's wait a minute. So, da -da 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 -da. all right, no, I'll just check it out. Okay. All right, pretty good. All right, so guys, um, you know, today this is our objective, but before we continue, I don't know if you guys have any question or anything you want to ask before we start with this new topic. No questions? We good? Okay. Awesome. Well, just so you guys know, uh, the objective for this, uh, I would say for this section, I'll be the next one. And it says, in this class, you will learn clothes vocabulary. Particularly clothes which you can wear for work and for leisure. Okay, so that is what we're going to be talking about today. We're going to be talking about clothes. So let's go next right here. And I want to play this short video, guys. And I'm going to ask you to please uh, listen and repeat. Okay, so listen and repeat. Hi, everyone. In this class, you'll learn clothes vocabulary, particularly clothes which you wear for work and for leisure. As you can see on the screen, the clothes which are on the image towards the left-hand side are for work, and the ones towards the right-hand side are clothes for leisure. Let's practice by listening and repeating the vocabulary. Clothes for work. Shirt. Tie. Belt, jacket, pants, suit, coat, shoes, blouse, scarf, skirt, high heels, raincoat, dress, clothes for leisure, hat, Sweater, jeans, gloves, boots, cap, t-shirt, shorts, socks, sneakers, pajamas, swimsuits. Now is your turn to practice the vocabulary that we just learned. I would like for you to talk about the clothes that you wear for work and the clothes that you wear for leisure. If the clothes are not mentioned here, you should add them. 
For example, I wear a tie for work. I wear shorts at home. After you do this, please share your work in our discussion forums. All right, so that's pretty much what we have right there. And those are, uh, well, that's basically the, you know, clothes, you know, that's what, we, what we're talking about right here. Now, uh, as it says, we have clothes for work, you know, something that most of the times we use whenever we go working. Or we also talk about the clothes for leisure, you know, which is um, when you're not working, when you have your free time or anything, right? That's pretty much what it is. Okay, now, this is the thing we have right here. The shirt, tie, bell. You can listen and repeat after me, but with your microphone off. This is jacket, pants. Now, the combination between the jacket and the pants hace un suit, que es un traje, right? Then we got a coat, shoes, blouse, scarf, skirt, high heels, raincoat, dress, okay? And then it says clothes for leisure, hat, gloves, sweater, jeans, boots. We got the t-shirt, not teacher, mm -mm. t-shirt, cap, shorts, socks, sneakers. And then we got pajamas and swimsuits. So do you have a question guys about any of the, of the meaning of this uh, vocabulary words? Questions? No? We get? Uh huh. No questions? Estamos bien? No hay preguntas? Todo clarito? I have a, I have a question to you. Tell me, tell me, Aníbal. What's your question? Uh, what's the meaning of? Coat. Abrigo. Coat. Yes. Oh, okay. mm -hmm. It's el abrigo. Coat. Mm -hmm. That's what it is. Okay. Okay. Pretty good. Now let's do something, guys. Let's work in this part. It says complete the chart with words from part eight. Clothes for warm weather. Clothes for cold weather. For example, what do you use when it's warm? Do you use a sweater or do you use uh, I will say shorts. What do you use when it's warm? Clothes uh, for cold, no, warm weather. Mm -hmm. For warm weather, you will use a short. Oh, I'm sorry, short. a pair of shorts, right? You can say shorts, right? So that's what I want you to do. On your notebook, if you don't have this printed, I want you to write this and put clothes for warm weather and clothes for cold weather. And now you're going to make the division. Vamos a dividir cuáles son para warm weather y cuáles son para cold weather. So I'm going to give you a few minutes, okay? Questions, is that clear? Estamos claros con eso? Yes? Yeah? Okay. Si tienen preguntas de la actividad, me dicen. If you have questions about the activity, do you let me know. Okay, let's run on part of minutos. I'm gonna give you a few minutes, three to five minutes, and then you let me know. Uh, you can raise your virtual hand whenever you finish. Voy a levantar su manita virtual cuando termine. Please, 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 please. You can just let me know. And if you have a question, just let me know. I'm, I'm just right here, okay?
All right, let me know if you have a question and please raise your virtual hand whenever you finish. Okay, guys, two more minutes, two more minutes, and then we will start checking all together. Okay, guys, we will start checking this right now, okay? So, um, let's see. What about, well, uh, you know what? I'm, I'm going to ask you basically what clothes do you have for warm weather, okay? So, I'm going to go with, uh, hi, Maven. Tell me, what clothes do you have for warm weather? Cup, t-shirt, uh, shorts, sock, sneakers. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay. Thank you so much. All right. Uh, thank you, thank you, Jaime. Yes, those are a few of the ones that we can use for the warm weather. What about um uh, a sweater, guys? When do we use a sweater? Warm or cold weather? Cold weather. Cold weather. What about um a raincoat? When do we use it? In cold weather. In cold weather. Uh-huh. What about a shirt? Cold weather. Warm weather. I will warm. say that probably probably warm. we can use it. Warm. Not probably. We use it for warm weather. Uh, because when it's cold, we must use a sweater, right? Mm -hmm. What about shorts? When do we use shorts? Sorry, when do we wear shorts? Mm -hmm. When do we wear shorts? For cold weather? weather? Cold weather, yes. No, it's actually for warm weather. <laughs> All right, it's actually for warm weather that we use shorts, right? Uh, we wear sneakers. Wear, wear, wear. What about um? I will say a cap. When do we wear a cap? Cold 
Cold weather. Cold weather. That's what it is. That's pretty much what it is, guys. Now, now, just one thing, one thing right here, and is that, um, well, and I want to ask you basically. Eh, once again, tienen alguna pregunta sobre el significado de alguna de estas eh, piezas de ropa o the pronunciation or anything? No. No questions. Eh, quizás con la eh, de t-shirt, que dijo usted que no t-shirt, sino que t-shirt, no sé cómo se dice eso. Yes, <laughs> yes. Sí, es que a veces uno dice teacher. <laughs> y yo, ¿yo? Ok, no. <laughs> Entonces, no, no soy yo. Es, uh, es como decir la t primero, t-shirt. T-shirt. Mm -hmm. uh, quizás sería t-shirt. T-shirt. Uh -huh. sure. okay. Porque si hicimos teacher, casi como teacher, va. Algunos a veces uh -huh. dicen teacher. <ríe> bueno, yo decía, <ríe> en algún momento seguro. Ajá. Pero entonces, t-shirt. Uh -huh. So, t-shirt. That's what it is. I have a question. Okay, uh, tell me, tell me. Um, uh, we can wear a uh, blouse or both occasions. A blouse, I would say yes. I would say yes, but you know, sometimes you will just put the sweater over over your shirt or over your blouse, right? Mm -hmm. Yes. Sí, algunas de esas se pueden usar en la dog, uh, cuando haya frío o cuando esté caliente, right? Um, pero algunas que sí se deben usar solo cuando, cuando eh, por ejemplo, el sweater, no vamos a usar un sweater cuando esté warm, so it will be just for cold weather. Por ejemplo, un sh shorts. No vamos a usar shorts en el cold weather, unless we're crazy, but, uh -huh. so, entonces, shorts sería para warm weather, right? So, yes, algunas sí, se pueden usar en both, mm -hmm. en los dos. Okay, any other question about that, guys? No? Okay, if you guys don't have any question, the next thing that we're going to be talking about, it's actually, um, it's going to be colors. Okay, for that, I'm going to go right here and I'm going to play the video. And one thing is uh, the next topic, which is this one, it's that in this uh, class, in this topic, we're going to learn about colors and how we use them in our daily life. Okay, so I'm going to play right now the uh, video. And I'm going to ask you to listen to the colors and repeat, okay? Let's listen and repeat to the, after the man saying the colors. Hi, everyone. In this class, you'll learn the colors and you will practice a conversation which illustrates how this topic is used in a real conversation. Let's start by looking at the image on the screen and listening to the colors. You should listen and repeat white light gray gray dark gray beige light brown brown dark brown black red pink orange yellow light green green dark green light blue blue dark blue purple now we're going to listen and repeat to a conversation which illustrates how colors are used to describe clothing let's listen and repeat. Great! Our clothes are dry. Where is my new blouse? What color is it? It's white. Here's a light blue blouse. Is it yours? No, it's not mine. Wait! 
It is mine. It's a disaster. Oh, no. All our clothes are light blue. Here's the problem. It's these new blue jeans. Whose jeans are they? Uh, they're mine. Sorry. What I would like for you to do next is to practice this conversation. If you have a partner with whom you can practice with, that will be great. If it's just you, I would still encourage you to practice on your own. Okay. So that's pretty much what we have when we talk about the colors, right? Uh, just one thing I want to say right here, guys, and is that, um, well, I'm, I'm going to talk about that right now, but when we have uh, the colors, uh, we just need to pay attention to a couple of things. For example, uh, let me show you here. Okay, now we have right here, we have white, light gray, gray, dark gray, beige, light brown. So that's what we have, right? So that's, we're, we're good on that. Now, I want you to know, to notice something and what i want you to notice is the following right here give me just a second here all right what i want you to notice is the following and what it is is this we say dark brown but we also say light brown so what's the difference between light and light brown and dark brown what is the difference what's the difference who can tell me that Quién sabe. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. The same thing that we do in Spanish. Lo mismo que hacemos en español. Light es como decir claro, right? Eh, and dark es como decir oscurito, right? Sería como eh, café claro, café oscuro, right? Light brown, dark brown. So I can say light red like pink, light orange, light yellow, or I can say dark red, dark pink, dark orange, dark yellow, si es que existen, okay? <laughs> so you can say dark or light. That's pretty much what you can say. That's pretty much what you can do, right? Okay, now let's see. Do I have any volunteer to read the colors? Any volunteer to read the colors in English? Who wants to try? Okay, Fernando, tell us. Please help us. Um, white, light gray, gray, dark gray, bay, light brown, brown, dark brown, black. And give me a second, please. Um, red, pink, orange, yellow, light green, green, dark green, light blue, blue, and dark blue, and purple. Purple, good job. Yes, uh -huh. you got it. Any other volunteer? Okay, Elsie, thank you. Let's go with Elsie, then we will go with Carla. Uh, red. Pink, orange, yellow, light green, green, dark green, light blue, blue, dark blue, and purple. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much. Uh, okay, you're missing these ones, Elsie. These ones as well. White, light gray, all this, please. Okay. Uh, white, dark gray, brown, light gray, be beige. Uh, dark brown, gray, light brown, and black. Good job. Yes, thank you so much. All right. And now let's go with Carla. White, light gray, gray, dark gray, beige, light brown, brown, dark brown, black, red, pink, orange, yellow, light green, green, dark green, light blue, blue, dark blue, and purple. Good job. Thank you so much. Any other volunteer? Yeah, teacher. Okay, thank you. White, 
dark gray, brown, light gray, beige, dark brown, gray, light brown, black, red, pink, orange, yellow, light green, green, dark green, light blue, blue, dark blue, and purple. 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 Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Now, Christian, tell us. Okay, white, light gray, gray, dark gray, beige, light brown, brown, dark brown, brown, black, red, pink, orange, yellow, light green, green, dark green, uh, light blue, blue, dark blue, purple. Thank you so much. Yes, that's what it is. Okay, guys, now, just a couple of things. Right here, we have white. Now, you can repeat after me with your microphone off. White, light, gray. Now, we don't say light. We say light, light, gray, gray, dark, gray, beige, light, brown, brown, dark, brown, black, then we say red, red, mm -mm. red, red, pink, orange, 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 uh -uh. orange, orange. Then we say yellow, light green, green, dark green, light blue, blue, dark blue. Purple, right? Purple, like with O, como con O, purple. And it's a purple, all right? That's what it is. Okay, now, right here we have a question and it says, what are your favorite colors? Now, pay attention to that because that's asking for more than one color, okay? So it can be two colors, it can be three colors, it can be 20 colors. Why? Because it says, what are your favorite colors? Plural, right? And that's what I want to show you right here. Now, it says, now, uh, this right here. This is what I want to explain to you. What are your favorite colors? So, you have two ways to answer that. The first way is saying, my favorite colors are green and yellow. Okay, pero teacher, ¿por qué are? Ah, uh, bueno, miren, me están preguntando acá por are. Por varios. What are your favorite colors? Colores, right? So, ¿cuáles son tus colores favoritos? Right? Then it's my favorite colors are green and yellow. Just an example. Pero si de repente si teacher, ¿qué hueva decir tú eso? No hay una forma más fácil. Sí, hay otra. Entonces te puede decir aquí, there. ¿Ok? Que es they are, right? It's contracted. They're green and yellow. Boom, that's it. But we also have another question, like, what is your favorite color? Just one color, okay? What is your favorite color? And then you can say, my favorite color is red, okay? My favorite color is red. Or you can say, si quieren hacerlo más corto todavía, you can say, it's red. Boom, that's it. And so that's pretty much what we do with the colors right here. So do you have any question about this right now, guys? No? Okay. So I'm going to ask Iris. What are your favorite colors, Iris? Uh, my favorite colors are black and pink. Good job. Now you, Iris, ask one of your classmates, please. Um, what is your favorite color, Aníbal? They are red, red and black. Red. Red and black. In black. Okay, keep going, please. Mm -hmm. What is your favorite color, Marcela? Yeah. 
¿Eh? In English. Uh, me? Yes. <laughs> yes. Uh, repeat, please. What is your favorite color? What is your, your, your favorite color? Favorite color. It's purple. Mm -hmm. Keep going, please. Vamos a seguir, vamos a seguir preguntándole al siguiente, al siguiente, al siguiente, okay? Until I tell you, hasta cuando decir que nos detengamos, please. So keep going. What are you what are your favorite color and it's me? Uh, my favorite color is pink. What is your favorite color? Uh, Abigail? Uh, my favorite color is uh, purple. Um, what are your favorite colors? Um, um, Claudia Maricela. Uh, color or color? Ask her um, to repeat the question. What are your favorite colors? Favorite colors. Uh -huh. Favorite colors. My favorite color and black. My favorite color. Favorite. 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 My mm -hmm. favorite colors. Mm -hmm. uh, black. And uh, green. Black and green. And green. Mm -hmm. And green. Okay, now you, Claudia, ask somebody else, please, one of your classmates. Um, uh, what are your favorite colors, Camila? What is your favorite color? Oh, pueden decirlo contractado también. What's, right? What is what? Is what? what is favorite color, Camila? Perdón, se... Le faltó el your. What is your favorite color? What is your favorite color, Camila? Mm -hmm. Good job. Thank you. My favorite color is black. Mm -hmm. Keep going, please. Um, Blanca, what are your favorite colors? My favorite color red. In yellow. My favorite colors. Con ese colors. My favorite colors. Colors. Are. Red and yellow. Are red and yellow. Are red and yellow. Mm -hmm. Yellow. Mm -hmm. My favorite co colors are red and yellow. Good job. Thank you. Now you ask somebody else, please. What is your favorite color, Fernando? Your. My favorite color is um, yellow. Okay. And what's your favorite color, Hazel Marcela? My favorite color are red and yellow. Mm, did you ask for, sorry, I think you said is your favorite color. Can you repeat the question, Fernando? I wasn't able to remember. What's your favorite color? 
Mm -hmm. Okay, Marcela, so it says, what's your favorite color? It's just asking for one. Your favorite colors. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. le, le pregunto solo por uno. What's your favorite color? So you have to say it's color. Um, solo en este caso cuando le preguntan por uno, usted tiene que decir my favorite color is y dice solo un color. Así como Fernando le preguntó what is your favorite color? Le preguntó solo por uno. Ah, entonces tendría que ser poner solo con uno. Uh -huh. So, what is your favorite color? My favorite color is red. Okay, that's what it is. Okay, guys. Thank you so much. Thank you for helping me with that. Okay. Now, there are a couple of things that we are going to be uh, talking about right here. But here we have actually the conversation and we are going to try to work on this. Um, so if I have any volunteers to read it, you guys can raise your virtual hand so we can check on this right here. So we can try to read and we can practice our reading skill. So I see I got right here, Hazel, I got Fernando. Okay, cool, I got a few people. Okay, so Hazel, you're going to be uh, Pat, and Fernando, you're going to be Julie. So let's go, let's try to read okay. it. Okay. Read or close a dream. Where is my new gloves? Creo que así se pronuncia. Gloves. What color is it? It's white. Here's a light blue blouse. Is it yours? Oh no, uh, all clothes are leak blue. Uh, sorry, it says, no, it's not mine. This one. Aquí Hazel, aquí. <laughs> Perdón. <laughs> Not is not my white. It is my. It's a um, this desert. Disaster. Desert. Oh. oh no! All our clouds are light blue. Here the problem is this new blue jeans. What jeans are they? Uh, they're mine. Sorry. <laughs> All right. Thank you. Now let's go with Chrysia and let's go with Elsie. Chrysia, you're going to be Pat. And Elsie, you're going to be Julie. Okay. Great. Our clothes are dry. Where is my new blues? What color is it? It's white. Here's a light blue blouse. Is it yeah. yours? Yours. No, it's not mine. Wait. It is mine. It's a disaster. Oh no, all our clothes are light blue. Here's the problem. The problem is this new blue jeans. Whose jeans are they? Oh, there is mine, sorry. All right, thank you so much. Now let's go with the next couple. That's going to be Iris and Christian. So Iris, you're going to be Pat. And Christian, you're going to be Julie. So let's go. Great, our clothes are dry. Where is my new blouse? What color is this? It is. It's white. Where is a uh, light blue blue blouse? Is it yours? No, it's not mine. Why? It is mine. It's a disaster. Oh no! All our clothes are light light blue. 
here's the problem. It's these new blue jeans. Who jeans are they? Oh, they're mine. Sorry. Okay. Thank you so much. All right. Uh, any other volunteer? Uh-huh. Any other couple? No more? Okay. Just a couple more. Let's see. Abigail, Elizabeth, you're going to be Pat. And I'm going to ask, let's see, Floricia, you're going to be Julie. Um, okay, bread or clothes are dry. Where is my new blues? What color it is? It's, it's white. Her a bright blue blouse. It is yours. Uh, no, it's not mine. Wait, it is mine. It's a desert. This disaster. Oh no, our our clothes are light blue. Here is the problem. Is this new? New blue jeans. What jeans are they? Oh, they are nice. Sorry. Thank you so much. Now, one more couple. I'm going to ask Juana, uh, Isabel, you're going to be Pat, and Glenda, Guadalupe, you're going to be Julie. Okay. Grid or clothes are dry. Where is my nail blows? Oh, we, we can't listen, uh, Glenda. No, no le podemos escuchar. Uh, <clears throat> puede, no sé si tendrá algún uh, dispositivo conectado, algún micrófono o audífonos. Si no le podemos escuchar. Glenda, sorry. Okay, so yes, yeah, so probably she's having um an issue, so this is gonna work. Okay, so um, Jaime, can you help us, please? Can you help us read in this, Julie? Jaime, Ivan. Okay, yes, uh, Julie. What color is it? Mm -hmm. It's gray. Uh, here's a light bl blue blouse. Is it yours? No, it's not mine. Why? It is mine. It's a disaster. Oh, no. All your clothes are light blue. Here's the problem. It's this new blue jeans. House jeans are they? Oh, they're my story. Mm -hmm. My Thanks. story. Okay. Thank you so much. Okay, now guys, we just need to check on uh, the pronunciation of a few words, okay? For example, it says, great, no great, it will say great, like, great. También tiene un signo de exclamación de acá, has an exclamation mark. So I can ponerle <laughs> in. Okay, like great, right? So great, our clothes are dry, dry. Where is my new blouse? What color is it? It's white, right? White. Here's a light blue blouse. 
Is it yours? We don't say your, mm -mm. we say yours, okay? Is it yours? No, it's not mine. Wait, espera, wait, right? It is mine. It's a disaster. Oh no, all our clothes are light blue. Here's the problem. It's this new blue jeans. Whose jeans are they? Uh, they're mine, sorry, okay? So let's pay attention to the pronunciation. For example, repeat after me with your microphone off. This is great, great, right? Pueden repetir ahí con sus micrófonos apagados, pero la pronunciación es great, dry, we also have clothes, right? It says blouse, blouse, white, white, yours, mine, weight, Disaster, disaster. Whose, whose, whose genes are they? Okay, and that's pretty much it, you know? Just remember the pronunciation of these words. Now, I want to ask you guys, do you have, um, I was say, a question? about the pronunciation or the meaning of any uh, any word. Mm -hmm. Question? Right. Uh, tell me. Uh, what is right? Wait, uh, this one? No, it's right. Dry, okay, dry. It's uh, when there is no water, no water on the clothes. That is seco, right? Dry. Mm -hmm. Okay. Dry. Mm -hmm. Anything else? Any other question? Sure. Tell me. Uh, the opposite of uh, uh, lavadora or sea, secadora. Ah, that's How do you key. say? That's the dry, but it's actually the washing machine, if I'm not mistaken, the one that do does both. But this is the dry. Um, it's it's basically this. If if I'm not mistaken. Uh, the same washing machine actually does, you know, both of those. Um, but uh, I will say that it will be the dryer then. Secadora will be dryer. Uh -huh. Es como esto acá de dry, que es seco, pero sería like this. Dryer. Give me a second. Dryer. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Dryer. That's what it will be. But if I'm not mistaken, nowadays they there are some washing machines that come with the same. Well, might not. But anyways, yeah, but it's dryer. Mm -hmm. That's secadora in, in English, right? Okay. Any other question, guys? No? Okay. Okay. All right, guys. Now, listen. Uh, this is what it is right here. So, you just have to keep in mind. Uh, hay que mantener en cuenta la pronunciación de esas palabras que les decía. Okay. Uh, cuando estemos leyendo, también veamos si son preguntas. Si son preguntas, se cale la entonación de pregunta. 
eh, si tiene un signo de interrogación, hay que darle ahí eh, la emoción, right? De ex, because that, that expresses excites men, right? So that's basically what it is. And now the last thing, and this is whose genes are they? Es como decir, ¿de quién? Whose? ¿De quién son estos genes? O es, esos genes. Whose genes are they? So that's pretty much what we do. Okay, now, um, I don't know if you guys have any question about this. No? No question, teacher. Okay, well, now, if I ask you guys, now, if I say, whose shorts are this? Okay, and now this is something I want to explain to you before we go. Si se dan cuenta, aquí tenemos, whose shorts are this? Es como decir, ¿de quién son estos shorts? Right? Ahora bien, then you can say something like, they're, or they are, mine, que es míos, right? They're mine. Or you can say, they're yours, right? Which is pretty much what we have. But before checking on this, I want to show you something. And this is something I want you to remember. Remember that we use this with singular, right? For example, with singular nouns, this is a cat. And then we use this with plural, like saying, these are shorts, right? That's pretty much what we do. Now, why am I saying this? ¿Por qué les estoy diciendo esto? Aunque sé que ya lo vimos por ahí. Pero es por lo siguiente. Cuando ustedes usan this, el siguiente, eh, bueno, cuando usamos this en singular, lo vamos a usar con el verbo to be. Singular. ¿Cuál es la forma del verbo to be singular? Is. Y cuando usamos this, vamos a usar la forma plural del verbo to be. Que es are. So, for example, these are shorts. ¿Por qué les digo esto? Porque, por ejemplo, shorts es una palabra plural. No podemos decir, this is a short. Aunque nosotros en español decimos, este es un, un short. Decimos, pero no está bien dicho. De hecho, tendría que ser, estos son shorts. O este es un par de shorts. Right? That's different. Okay. So, the reason why I'm saying that, otra vez, y la razón por la que se los digo es para que se recuerden. Hay palabras que son plurales. There are some words that are plural. For example, this right here. Pants. Okay. Uh, shorts. It's plural. Jeans. It's plural. Okay. Entonces, para que cuando lo usemos, conjuguemos el verbo correctamente. Okay. Bueno, a time's up today. No sé si tienen alguna pregunta antes de que los deje ir, chicos. I don't know if you have a question before I let you go. No. Okay. If you guys don't have any question, I'm going to see you tomorrow. Eh, traten, por favor, de practicar los colores, de aprender eh, los, el vocabulario, las cloth, clothing, right here, porque es lo que vamos a seguir usando en los siguientes temas. Okay. So um, that's it, guys. So I'll see you tomorrow. You guys take care. Okay. Enjoy the rest of your night. All right. Bye. 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 Guys, take care. See Bye. ya. Bye. Bye. Bye.